E por conta dessas chuvas históricas aqui na costa leste dos Estados Unidos, centenas de voos... And because of the rain here on the east coast, hundreds of flights needed to be canceled and train tracks... E como resultado de la forte lluvia aqui na costa este, cancelaram cientos de voos e linhas de trem entre Nueva York, Connecticut e... All right, now you might be wondering, if it's that easy to just recreate your appearance, your voice, your facial expressions, how safe is AI technology? And how can you make sure your identity is safe? $100 from your bank account, it's only worth about $95, which means you're losing $5 just because of inflation. If the FDA approves the new COVID pill, the US government has already said it will buy enough of it to treat more than 1.5 million people. The US government is sending out millions of at-home tests just like this, For free. Só a gente passar por aqui, por essa porta, que a gente vai ver a intensidade do fogo. Segundo informação dos moradores, esse problema já está aqui há mais de dois meses. Julho do ano que vem. E eles não estão sozinhos. Porque até quem trabalha na frente das câmeras, como a gente aqui do Globo Notícia América... Hasta agora, Adams calcula que mais de 116 mil migrantes han sido processados por o sistema de refúgios da cidade de Nova York desde a primavera passada. Talk me through the timeline. So you said, when did you guys meet and how long did you guys stay together? We met through Tinder um, back in the beginning of 2014. So you lived with his ex-wife as his boyfriend, with his mother and his sister. But at that time, I still did not know that they were married. Pois é, o Departamento de Defesa de Fronteiras da Pensilvânia liberou agora à noite as imagens do grande herói nessa busca aí incessante pelo brasileiro. Olha só, o nome dele é Yoda, um pastor belga de quatro anos. Esse é um cão farejador. Boa noite, Lordela. Boa noite para todo mundo. Pois é, depois de 14 dias aí que ele ficou foragido, ele agora foi recapturado e foi transferido para uma prisão de segurança máxima. Deixa eu te contar direitinho como é que aconteceu essa história. Just last month, we had someone come through who was in a situation of abuse, who was being threatened, and had been recently married. And she was very much afraid that her residency would be at risk if she were to leave her abusive partner. Stephanie Molcock hears stories like these far too often. She is the executive director of GAHA, a nonprofit that provides support to Latino and immigrant women who are survivors of domestic violence. She also had children and she was very concerned about how this would affect the children and how she would be able to retain custody of the children. We were able to connect her with legal assistance so that she would get an order of protection. They offer everything from legal counseling to immigration services, job training and leadership development. We connect folks with agencies so that they understand that they have the right to not live in a situation of abuse. Gaha is the Portuguese word for grit, and the desire to make a difference is personal for Stephanie. Being an immigrant myself, um, I had to go through difficulties. So today I want to make sure that women that are survivors of abuse, that these folks understand that they have a way out. I was worried about my immigration process. Ingrid Borges knows firsthand what it's like to need help in a different country. I had to apply to renew my residency and due to circumstances that I was in, I was getting overwhelmed with all the paperwork you have to fill out. She's just one of the thousands of women in New York who were able to rebound thanks to Gaha. The work is important and necessary for the community. A lot of us, we might don't speak the language and then immigration, the, the laws, everything, you need someone to assist in you. The organization also so recognizes how far each survivor has come. They celebrate every year the Women with Gaha Awards. Along with the honor, they also get a book showcasing their own stories. It also serves as a reminder that with Gaha and community support, each survivor can achieve their dreams. It's important for Latinx women to be able to design their own narrative. Gaha's executive director also tells me they need a lot of help and volunteers. If you'd like to get involved or if you need assistance for you or someone you know, just reach out to them at gahabr.org. In the newsroom, Giovanni Diaz, Pixel Ave News. Imagine you could live forever, or maybe go back in time and ask your parents, grandparents, great-grandparents about their lives, their experiences. Well, that's now a possibility thanks to a new concept called Storyfile, and it's powered by, you guessed it, AI. Take a look. I'm so pleased that I met so many good people. 
who influenced my life and I had happy This family. is Marina Smith responding in video and interacting with her loved ones. And I feel it's coming to conclusion. Sounds like a pretty normal video chat conversation, except for one thing. This is her funeral. The video you see here is generated by AI. And I've seen my sons doing great things and leading. She was the mother of Stephen Smith, creator and CEO of Storyfile. My co-founder and wife were concerned about the preservation of Holocaust survivors. How do we ensure that important piece of history is preserved for future generations? We wanted to be able to have a conversation with the past. I hadn't planned to bring my mother's story file to her funeral. We buried her and then everyone got around and was saying beautiful things about her. And towards the end of it, I said, I'd love to ask mother a few questions. And everybody just, there's Marina. And her smile and her personality, the one that everybody was missing in that moment. What's your story? My name is Hank Thomas, former Freedom Rider. Through an extensive library of content fed in by the user, StoryFile uses real-life expressions, mannerisms, and even accents to generate high-definition video responses. You ask a set of questions. The person answers those questions. And the, in the answers are lots of things that are not the original question. You could ask me, where were you born? And I will say, I was born in Derby, England. Oh, and by the way, that's the home of Rolls-Royce, and they have an amazing soccer team. And then suddenly I'm talking about other things other than where I was born. So what the AI is doing, actually, it's not creating new content. What it's doing is looking through all the content that's there and then bringing back from that content what you're looking for. Actor and comedian William Shatner created his own story file, and you can interact with him on the company's website. All right, now let's put this AI technology to the test. I'm going to ask a couple of questions to this machine and see what it can do. What is your name? My name is William Shatt. Fair. How about, how old are you? Uh, so I was born in 1931 and you do the math. Okay, fair enough, very direct. Let's try something more complicated. How about, what do you think about AI technology? This whole thing is the future. To be able to ask a favorite person present day. No, that's impressive. Even now you might be wondering, how safe is it? Every story file is private by default. You can share it. There's a link, you can put it on your Facebook if you want. Everybody can share it. But we assume, we assume that it's private so that you've got the confidence to be able to speak about those things that are you know, intimate and personal. As for what the future of AI looks like? What we have seen in the last six months is so revolutionary and so fast, breakneck speed fast. I can't predict what's going to happen at the end of this year, let alone five or ten years from now. Smith also pointed out that just like all new technology, there will be a learning curve all across the board, from the music and film industries to the news industry and even to our day-to-day -day lives. But he hopes and believes that with the right guidelines in place, life could be much easier and longer thanks to AI. What a time to be alive. In studio, Giovanni Diaz, Pix11 News.